this one foot shit is an amazing way. I like that already. Yes, it is. Hey, Kevin here, and this is mostly about cars. And this morning I'm heading up to La Faz Motors in Port of Spain, where I'll be driving the new electric Mini Cooper S. As you guys will know, there's a lot of hype surrounding modern electric vehicles. Uh, we're seeing more and more vehicles entering the market in this option. Now, for most people, the most obvious choice is the Hyundai Ioniq. And if you're watching this video, then you know you're a car guy and nobody wants to drive a Hyundai Ioniq electrical otherwise. Why? It's boring. It <laughs> but we are car guys. We want a really cool car. We want something that's engaging to drive and something that does not blend into the background. For example, Mini has already indicated within a decade the entire range will be fully electric, starting with the Mini Cooper, which is what we'll be driving today. So I'm very curious to see how Mini has taken the idea of electric vehicle and translated it into their brand. Um, how engaging is it, you know, what does it feel like on the road given the absence of sound, the absence of, you know, that, that whole visceral experience. You know, if you've driven a, a Cooper S or a John Cooper Works, you know, the, the, the pops and bangs of the exhaust, the way the car responds in sport mode, you know, it's, it's a very engaging experience. So, will the Cooper S deliver on the Mini experience? We'll find out shortly. So, we're about to take our first drive in the all-new Mini Cooper SE. With me here is Jerome, who will be keeping an eye on me, make sure we don't go flying off any, uh, <laughs> any, any corners. But it's a Mini, wow. so there's no risk of that. <laughs> so, the goal here really is to see Mini's interpretation of what a full electric vehicle should be. Because Mini have all been traditionally, you know, nice engine tune, fun to drive, performance cars. So, with the world going EV, we're very curious to see how this car will fit into BMW and Mini's range. Because in a few years, the entire Mini family will be all electric. So, let's see how it goes. As for all Minis, the start button is down here in the center of the console. Push the start. The dash wakes up. You're welcomed to the all new, fully digital instrument cluster. EC is on. Alright, so here we go. Handbrake button down. And as for all electric vehicles, literally no sound. This will take some getting used to. So Durham, right now are we in um, full regen mode? Because it feels like as I'm off the throttle, the car pretty much applies the brakes. Yeah, so that means you're in full regen mode. You'll feel the difference. Yeah. So basically, as soon as I'm off throttle, the car slows to a halt. So we'll be in what economy mode? Uh, so right that, now? Yeah. Yeah, you feel that. Yep. So as so soon as I'm off throttle, so I get this little call one one for driving, because I'm actually at a dead stop, my feet are not any brakes. That's just me completely off throttle. Um question room. So in this mode, when I'm off throttle like that, do the rib do the brake lights come on? To yeah, let... the brake lights do come on. Okay, yeah. so So you will let uh, a driver's behind, you know, that's right. Get decelerating. So, even though I'm not on the brakes physically, the brake lights do come on. So, I'm approaching a junction and my, foot are, my feet are off the brakes, off the gas, I've come to a stop. So, let's let's try. So, Trinis, we love the inch in traffic. So, there's about a 10 foot gap to the car in front of me. My foot is on the brakes. So, if I ease off the brakes, will the car crawl forward? Okay, no, the car doesn't crawl. So if I gently lay on the gas, ah, we begin to crawl forward. Now, another hallmark of Mini Cooper driving is the steering is very progressive. There's a lot of feedback. So even though this car has a electrically assisted steering wheel, there's a good weight to it. It's not overly assisted. Um, we are on Cipriani Boulevard now and I can feel a lot of feedback into the steering wheel so I know what's going with my front wheels at all times and this car how, is very quick even yeah. in economy mode see how instant that power is yep 
it really is instant throttle and I can see for everyday driving there'll be literally no reason to ever enter sport mode this is this speed this acceleration is more than adequate for moving around town getting a jollies around slow traffic so as you approach Queen's Park West which is a tight corner my foot off the gas slowing down for itself a little bit of brakes minimal body roll and the car pulls nicely out of the corner just as you come to expect from a Mini Cooper yeah, yeah. so we see a trailer up ahead it's not going to do slowly so I wouldn't try to pass him here but I have the confidence to know that if I wanted to pass that trailer I would have no trouble doing it this car definitely definitely feels like a Mini Cooper the handling is there, the Mini Cooper crisp very tall suspension, minimal body roll it's all there. The car feels every way you'd expect a Mini Cooper to feel. If you haven't driven a Mini Cooper, I strongly suggest you give Jerome a call and set up a test drive. Even if it's the basic 1.5 gas engine cars, you need to experience one of these. So, the question people ask is, you know, okay, fine, you have power in a flat. You know, Trinidad is not a flat country, we have a lot of hills. Which is why we're gonna take this little beast up Chancellor for anyone who's walked from the Savannah to Chancellor, you know it's a very steep 4 kilometers or thereabouts. So it gives your vehicle a nice test of what it could do under some load. And it's so it's a little pull. We are now at that was 75 kilometers. The brake haul us down to nothing, and that was literally two or three hundred feet. We are in the age of facing the extinction of the manual transmission however in something like this I'm honestly not even thinking about if I had a clutch pedal if I had a gain the shift because this thing is just so engaging the acceleration is there the the one pedal braking is amazing I'm really surprised at that and again the steering feel is everything I expect from a Mini Cooper so going up Chancellor averaging you know 30 40 keys you know, I know exactly my front wheels are. I know exactly how the car is planted on the road. I can feel everything. It's not light, and again, you don't want a light steering feel in a car like this. You really want to get that, that force feedback. And Mini has done a fantastic job in tuning the feel of the steering wheel. So, Jerome, you know, um, people talk about range anxiety. You hear about it in big countries, you know. People are afraid that you know I'll be out, out stuck somewhere in the sticks and I'm gonna run out of charge. Yeah. I'm not gonna get home, I can't find a charging station. Um tell me about the range in, in, in these cars and, and would range anxiety be a thing for new owners or would it not? Um I think once you be responsible and, and it's not even like in I remember driving across from city to city in Texas. Mm -hmm. And just forever and you're filling up yet like going through full tanks of gas yeah and i mean it's just not like that here between our north branch and south branch is roughly 60 kilometers mm -hmm. uh, with this thing your max range is like 234 kilometers so mm -hmm. really in trinidad i would say you don't have to worry mm -hmm. just remember at night when you park your car to plug it in to plug it in uh check your charge yeah, because honestly, I was I was expecting this car to be very sluggish in economy mode, because obviously the car will try to consume power. But I am very, very, very surprised at the way this car performs in economy mode. It um, our our eco modes allow you to get the full power of the vehicle mm -hmm. if you want it. Yeah. So once you ask, you will get it. Right. So we're gonna head back down Chancellor, continuing on the eco mode because I really wanna feel how the brakes are gonna behave on the way down. So, so this is our simulated Maracas drive. Right. So foot off the gas completely. I keep saying gas, and we've come to a complete stop. My feet are completely off the brakes. Right. So. From here on, on in, the road gets a bit more twisty, a bit steeper. So we're gonna try 
as much one foot driving, one pedal driving as possible. So sharp blind corner, my feet are off the gas, not on the brakes. Stop saying gas, Kevin. What do we say, Jerome? No, do we say a throttle? Yeah, you can say a throttle. You can say a throttle, yeah. It's an e-throttle. Uh, right, so again, off the throttle completely. And I mean, in a short time frame I've gotten, I'm able to judge how soon to let off the, the throttle and how quickly the car slows me down. So I must say it's very, very intuitive. So yeah, we're back down to the bottom of Chancellor. The experience is almost like a regular car. Again, no noise. The one pedal driving is fantastic. There really isn't much to get accustomed to. For example, the speedometer is where you expect it to be. There's no tachometer, but you do have the e-power mode. And in place of a fuel gauge, you have your reserve charge. So other than that, I mean, there really isn't anything much to get accustomed to. So we're on the avenue, which has been neglected by multiple governments, so it's bumpy. But honestly, you would hardly notice it. It's a very, very comfortable ride, which is exactly what you expect. You know you got this water suspension, you can feel it, but at the same time, it's not a jarring experience. Right, so we're gonna go up into sport mode. Right, so we're in sport mode now. Now, we haven't even hit the highway yet, Jerome, I can tell you. If I was skeptical about a performance EV in, in, in this range, I'm pretty much sold. Right. I mean, outside of the lack of engine noise, this car has given me everything I would expect from a Cooper S, which is firm suspension. Wow. Nice. Insane acceleration. <laughs> Just so smooth. Yeah, it is. So, again, the the torque delivery, as they always say, is instant with the electric. And I mean, it's something that you have to really experience to, to really get the full taste of it. But as you get into it, the car just hauls ass from nothing. There's no delay, no hesitation, just pulls. I'm not paying Kevin to say these things. <laughs> And yes, you know I love minis, but I am objective. If if I win the press, I would see. At the risk of never getting a test drive ever again, but honestly, this car delivers on the promise. It is a Cooper S, no doubt. Um, it'll be interesting to see if they would actually do a JCW version of this car with firmer suspension. I think that would make for one hell of a ride. my car, I was gonna punch it and launch it from that mm -hmm. truck. Yeah.